Hey there, CPO here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the new lug nuts that I got for the overclocked build and for my son's uh, 2004 TJ build. We've yet to name that. Um, I've called it son of overclocked, but I'm not sure that's the real name. Anyway, oddly enough, I have two different types. So for my 2015 JKU, the overclocked build, I got this McGuard uh, installation kit. I'll show you a little bit about that. For my sons, I got this Gorilla. Uh, both of these are spline drive kits. And then I'll talk about those, the differences between them, why you might want to pick one over the other, or, uh, or if you should make a decision between the two. And then uh, also talk a little bit about the factory lug nuts. I'll tell you uh, what you need to look for when you buy lug nuts for your Jeep Wrangler. And uh, let's talk about why I picked spline drive. All right, so first let's look at this McGuard premium wheel installation kit I picked up. Uh, this is part number 65540BK. Now this doesn't specifically say it's for Jeep Wrangler, uh, but with a little bit of information, we'll know that this is actually a good fit. Now, uh, McGuard does make a wheel installation kit that specifically says it's for Jeep Wranglers. It's actually the same exact thing as this with a cost adder because it's got three extra lug nuts for the spare tire. So obviously on a Jeep Wrangler, you've got uh, usually a rear mounted spare tire and almost all typical spare tire mounts use three lug nuts to hold that in place. So the Jeep Wrangler version, it has more than just a four wheel, it's actually got a four plus three extra lugs so that you can take care of your spare. Now I didn't need that because I have a spare tire mount that does not use lug nuts. It's uh, this Poison Spider body mount tire carrier. It uses an entirely different system for mounting the spare. So I did find this wheel installation kit, like I said, 65540, this is BK for the black version, that fits my Jeep and uh, doesn't make me pay for the extra lug nuts I'm not gonna use. So. Let me show you what's in the box here. This set actually comes with two bags of goodies. So in one bag are the actual spline drive lug nuts. And the tool necessary to use them. I'll talk here in a second about spline drive and why I picked them. And they all come with these little uh, rubber caps, which is kind of interesting. Um, so that's... Uh, what comes in the first bag. There's 16 of these. And then on top of that, for the other four required lug nuts, I have these locking lugs and then a key for that. So uh, it does come with a handy little pouch to store your key and some information about your uh, specific key. So you can get a replacement key if you lose yours and also a way to register that online with them. All right, so when it comes to picking lug nuts for the Wrangler, there's a couple things you need to know. You need to know uh, the threads, which are uh, one half by 20 threads are standard on our Jeep Wranglers. And you also need to know what type of seat you need for the lug, flat, cone, radius, shank, cone, shank. There's all these different options. Basically what you need to know is that our Wranglers have what's called a cone seat, which means there's basically a 60 degree angle cone cut uh, that fits and as a matter of fact, here's a factory lug nut. You can kind of see that cone and then the same thing with these that 60 degree uh, Angle cone is what you're looking for. You can get these in a half 20 um, That are different style like round radius uh, or even flat So make sure if you get them you get the cone ones now the ones that specify for Jeep Wrangler do say they're cone seats uh, in a lot of the shopping tools uh, online, the uh, the online retailers will have a way for you to verify the fit for your specific vehicle. So that's important. Um, now, let me talk about why I picked, first of all, this McGuard kit. It was a little bit expensive. I ordered these from Amazon and they were about 105 to 107 bucks, uh, including the shipping. That's expensive, but it does come with an entire uh, spline drive kit plus the, uh, the locking lug. So uh, I just decided to go ahead and splurge on the kit because I'm getting ready to put Hutchinson bead locks on. I've got pretty expensive tires and I figured it can't hurt to just add 
a, uh, a locking lug into the mix. Now the spline drives um, do a couple of things. One of them, they're, um, they're unique in the fact that it's not a standard lug nut. So they are kind of a theft deterrent all by itself, but it's only gonna confuse the, uh, the novice or unprepared thief. So I wouldn't think of any of this stuff, even the locking lugs, as true uh, theft prevention. It's more about deterrence than anything else. Uh, but what these also give me is a very narrow, uh, small diameter lug nut. So if I've got wheels, that, um, and I do right now, actually, my Mickey Thompson wheels have a very small opening for the lugs. And what happens is I can't even get a thick walled socket in there. I have to use a thin walled chrome socket to take off my lug nuts right now. Uh, my new uh, rims that are going on, they have a non-issue, like they're not even captured inside a hole. Uh, the lugs on my son's Jeep, um, have fairly wide openings, so it just depends on what type of rim. But in some cases, the aftermarket rims will have a very small opening, uh, and uh, and you can see how much thicker the um, the standard lug nut is, the Acorn style, which comes factory, in comparison to these. Uh, and then what happens is you have this little adapter tool that slips over the top, and then you put the uh, the, the socket or the wrench on this piece. And it allows you to, number one, get the wrench and socket uh, further away from the rim. So you don't risk uh, damaging the rim because you're trying to fit you know, a socket down inside of there. And then this thin profile basically makes it uh, no thicker than the base here. So that's kind of convenient. The downside of this is this is a really thin walled uh, piece of metal here and uh, it's recommended you don't use impact tools. So for those of you that like zipping these things on and off, uh, normally, you know, these big acorn ones, uh, you may want to rethink your strategy. I'll talk a little bit about how, uh, how you can do that and still leverage the speed of the impact. Um, and, uh, but anyway, so the other downside is you have to have this. So if you lose this little key, this, this adapter, then uh, you better hope somebody has one near you that can help you with these. So these um, adapters are, you know, going to be the same from uh, same manufacturer. So these that are McGuard are going to be the same, but my but the Gorilla adapter over here doesn't fit the McGuard, and the McGuard adapter doesn't fit the Gorilla. So it has to be same brand. Um, that's not unique. What is unique is the key, and that's important to make sure you really keep hold of because. Um, you can get them off. There are plenty of YouTube videos that demonstrate how to remove these without, or you can go to uh, auto shops that might have uh, spare keys or you can request one, but let's just uh, keep it simple and uh, not lose it so that you don't have to worry about that. All right, so that is the McGuard lug nut. Um, installation kit, again, with the, uh, the spline drives, which are low profile, and the, uh, the locking lugs, one per tire. And the recommendation is that the, uh, the wheel lock is the last nut that you tighten and the first one that you remove. So uh, that's a recommendation from a guard, so take it for what it's worth. Now, uh, I mentioned I would talk a little bit about using impact tools. Now, I do know people that uh, have claimed um, that they use impact tools with these, no problem, never have an issue. I will say these Megars, like I said, that's a really thin metal, definitely not designed for the hammering action of an impact tool. But um, what my plan will be is to use a, I use a torque wrench anyway to tighten these. So my final tightenings with the wrench, what I'll use is a breaker bar uh, to break the torque free. Once it's broke free, I'll run it with the, uh, the impact just to zip them off really quick. And then uh, when I'm done and I want to reinstall the lug nuts, I'll use the impact on a low, very low torque setting just to zip them up. And then I'll finish it again, uh, tightening it with a torque wrench and then doing final tightening. So that's how I plan to do that. Um, you know, you can do what you want. I'm just saying they recommend not using uh, impact tools. All right, so that is the uh, McGuard set. Now the set I bought for my son, uh, was quite a bit cheaper. This is the Gorilla. Again, these are one half inch by 20 threads with a cone seat. 
Uh, they do not come in as fancy packaging. They come with no instructions. Uh, um, it's pretty much no fuss, no muss. Uh, simple, um, you know, more of an acorn style finish look. Let me show you against the Megard. So the Megard has a flat top and then uh, these Gorillas have sort of an acorn top. It's a little bit shorter design. I don't know if that'll, um, you know, give you a preference one way or the other. They both had the same cone seat. One thing that I noted of interest on the Megard is the cone is actually a separate piece of metal that is in here, um, sort of pressed uh, or crimped into place or whatever. So my guess is that's a manufacturing efficiency that they can build a bunch of these and then put whether cones or flats or radius uh, seats on them and use the same uh, you know, design lug instead of having it entirely molded uh, that way. But I'm just um, supposing there. But uh, fundamentally, they're the same thing. They both have the same sort of a adapter. Now the adapter that comes with the Gorilla is much heavier duty. Um, it actually feels more like an impact socket. Uh, it does give you also a couple options for uh, socket size on top. There's like two different levels here that you can hit. So uh, this kit was quite a bit cheaper. This was the same uh, pack of 20. So this is handling four wheels. Uh, and I'm just gonna use regular lug nuts for his spare tire. Um, again, these aren't really designed as a security thing. It's more just uh, getting him good lug nuts because one of the problems with the factory lug nuts is uh, they fall apart and he's got a, several of them where the actual acorn piece has, uh, has popped off. So we've got a, a 19 millimeter with the acorn and then a couple of these 18 millimeters uh, where it's popped off. So uh, the plan is just to get him new lugs. And uh, like I said, went with these because um, they were a little bit cheaper and this whole kit was only 35 bucks. So like over a hundred for the Megard, again, it has locks on it, um, 35 bucks for the Gorillas. Um, I mean, I'm beginning to wonder if I should have just got Gorillas all the way around, uh, but Anyway, that's that. I really just wanted to uh, sit down and talk to you a little bit about these lug nuts, why I picked them, and, uh, and let you make your own decision on if you decide um, that you want to go this route. The, um, the McGuards do feel more premium as far as finish. Uh, the edges are a little bit more crisp and squared than the, uh, the Gorillas. Um, they are taller. So I don't know, make up your own mind if you want these. Uh, if price is an option, these are a third of the price. What is the price of the McGuard? I'm only seeing on Amazon the, uh, the, the installation kit that has the locks. They have the regular bulge style with just, just the lug nuts for 60 bucks. So that's still twice as much money. So. Uh, if money's an object, it looks like, and, and there's probably other products out there. I don't, uh, I haven't researched it thoroughly, but it sounds like the Gorilla is going to be the most economical way to go uh, with McGuard being sort of the more premium option. Uh, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.